What's up guys, it's Jake from Prism Supply. Today we're gonna walk you through our slingshot clutch control as well as some of the accessories to use with it and then we'll also install a, the whole kit for you. So when you get the kit from us, it's gonna be packaged in a nifty little box like this. You can thank Johnny for that. You open it up, it's gonna have the, the control as well as all the hardware you need. So, open this guy up. Again, control. All this already comes pre loctited Doesn't hurt to double check. And then, you're left with this hardware here. So, pretty straightforward. Each bolt, you get some lock washer, including these small guys. Got all that ready. I'm gonna grab, if I can find it, hold, lock tight. Grab this. And wait, one more Allen wrench, I believe. Got that one. And yep, I need one that. So. so you should have four of these 516 bolts and three of these 38 bolts. The only tools you should need to install this are two T handles, a 730 seconds, as well as a 316. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and lock tight everything. You only need a dab on each of these, a little bit goes a long way. Okay, a little bit more there. So now that all the bolts are have Loctite on them, I'm gonna hold the clutch control up. And if you'll see, these three larger holes, the four that, or the three that aren't tapped, the other four are tapped, mount directly to the frame. And then I usually start here and put that guy in first. And just get it started. And then the second one. And the third. And then grab my T handle. I'm just rough tightening them all first until they're all tight. And then I'll come back and actually apply some torque to all of them. Okay. So now that this is installed, if you're running a stock style Jiffy stand, we, we sell aftermarket versions of these, or if you have a stock one, that works great too. This bolts directly up to these four tapped holes. So we got the slingshot clutch assembly installed, jiffy stand installed. The next thing we're gonna do is install our clutch rod kit. That is if you already have your clutch release arm installed. So the clutch rod kit comes with this entire assembly here with the pin, two washers, and cotter pin. All right, and if you see, we put a slight S bend in this and that just was direct alignment from the clutch release arm all the way to the pedal. So we're gonna start with the rod. If you see the flap on the rod, slips directly into the clutch release arm. Pull that forward. And next thing we're gonna do, make sure you have your bushing installed. Over there, pull it up to your lever. Take the pin by itself, stick it directly, oops, stick it directly into the pedal, grab the washer, washer goes over the pin, in between the bushing and the pedal, push it all the way through, grab your other washer, washer goes on the outside of that bushing, and before your cotter pin. This one already bent pretty good, so we'll see how tough it is to get in. That wasn't so bad. Bend both the arms out. I'm trying to do this so you can see it. Yeah, perfect. Like that. Like that. We got the other one. And you can bend it down. 
Okay. You can make that look as neat as you want. Just put it on there for now. And then um, it's really up to you on how much play you want in this. I would say uh, a half inch of play is good. So you can adjust this rod just by rotating it. And then once you get it to the amount of play that you need, tighten this little lock nut down. Okay. And then make sure you use a wrench to do that. And now you have a working foot clutch assembly. And so the final accessory, this is totally optional. You don't need it. Um, in this bike, we're running our four inch mid pegs. If you want a little cheater peg, or you can use this as a foot peg, uh, this is also available on our website. If you take this Allen head bolt out, this cheater peg threads directly into it. You can use it as a pivot for activating your clutch or a foot peg if you want. If you take your 3 16th T handle, loosen this Allen bolt. Again, if it's Loctited, you might need to apply a little heat. Pull that all the way out. Like that. And then you're going to want to dab a bit of Loctite on the cheater peg. Okay. And still use this washer. There. Put that on. And thread this. Directly in to there. So now you have this pivot, which I can show you. So it makes it super easy uh, to release your foot clutch. Instead of like just free floating here, put your heel right on the peg and then just slowly let off. Kind of like you're driving a car. Nice. And that's it. It's really as simple as that. If you want to convert your bike to uh, jockey shift setup, you're going to need this assembly as well as a jockey shifter, which here we have our psychic shifter. We've got a bunch of other options on our website as well. Cool. That's it. Comment, like, subscribe, comment. Nice. <laughs>